change attitude and speed change. So the, the significant feature of this mode is the angle of attack remains is constant throughout the mode. During the mode, if you want to look outside the window, you can uh, reference the pitch attitude of the aircraft by looking at the wingtip and the horizon. And as the mode develops, we can look at the screen in front of you and see how the speed and pitch changes develop. The aeroplane is set up initially with a trim speed, straight to level at around about 160 knots. So to, to uh, excite the mode, Jim is simply going to raise the mode. You can see that there. <laughs> and the airspeed starts to fall. So to release the, the stick, the um, aeroplane is statically stable. It wants to recover to the trip condition of 160 knots. The lift is also less than the weight of the aircraft, so the aeroplane pitches back down to try and recapture the trim speed there, 160 knots. However, the aeroplane overshoots the trim speed, so now we have more lift than the weight of the aircraft, and the aircraft wants to pitch back up to recover the trim speed. So you can see now it goes back through the trim speed, and it over, it undershoots again as the pitch attitude increases. The airspeed is less than the trim speed, so again, the lift is less than the weight of the aircraft, and the aeroplane wants to pitch back down again. As the lift reduces or increases, you'll get reduction or increase in G, and you'll feel that in the seat of your pants. So there's one cycle. We'll just let the mode develop and see if the mode becomes unstable or stable. reducing or increasing in amplitude. 